When we think of first aid, we usually think of helping somebody who's had a heart attack or dealing with injuries or burns. But what should you do if you encounter somebody who's experiencing a mental health problem? Somebody who's having a panic attack or feeling aggressive, perhaps because of alcohol or drugs, or someone who is suicidal. Mental health first aid, very much like physical first aid, involves helping somebody who's developing a problem or perhaps already experiencing a mental health crisis. It involves providing help and support until appropriate treatment can be found or until the crisis resolves. Here are five things that you can do to help someone who's experiencing mental distress. Approach the person in a caring and non-judgmental manner to discuss your concerns. The person you're trying to help might not trust you or might be afraid of being perceived as different and therefore may not be open with you. Listen non-judgmentally. Let the person know you're concerned about them and are willing to help. Give support and information. If possible, offer the person choices of how you can help them. Try asking if they've felt this way before, and if so, what they've done in the past that's been helpful. Don't try to diagnose. If they don't want to talk about their experiences, don't try to make them. Rather, let them know that you'll be available if they would like to talk in the future. Encourage them to seek professional help. Encourage other supports, such as self-help strategies and seeking professional assistance. Most Canadians with mental health problems and illnesses, if they do seek help, get it from their family doctor. The philosophy behind mental health first aid is that a mental health crisis can be avoided or better handled through early intervention. If you'd like to learn how you can help someone who may be experiencing a mental health problem or crisis, take the course in Mental Health First Aid. To find out more, visit www.mentalhealthcommission.ca. I'm Dr. David Goldblum.